my dear students welcome to our fifth online lecture for rotational dynamics in this lecture i am going to explain about banking of road as seen earlier when a vehicle is moving on a plane horizontal curved road the necessary centripetal force is provided by the frictional force that present between the tires of the wheel of the vehicle and the road surface but this Sent, uh, frictional force is not the reliable force sometime how we can say the in this when during the rainy season on the road surface the road surface may become uh, wet due to the rains sometimes some oil may spread on the road surface uh, that is drop from the vehicles in that case there is the frictional force reduced and uh, the vehicle is moving on that curved road with the maximum speed limit the proper centripetal force that is mv square by r that centripetal force is not provided by the frictional force and in that case there may be the accident the vehicle may skid and for that the road is bank so what is mean by banking of road let us see with some object see here this is also now a curved horizontal uh, curved road but this is a curved bank road so what is mean by angle of banking and what is mean by banking of road what is the difference here when the road is plain horizontal the inner edge as well as outer edge both are at the horizontal same level is that here the outer edge of the when the road is bank the outer edge of the road is raised above this inner edge by some distance here by, with some with the horizontal it is raised above than the inner edge so that the road surface is not horizontal exact now the road surface become tilted here see here the road surface how the road surface become tilted this surface become tilted now the as the surface become tilted or it is inclined it makes some angle with the horizontal this is the horizontal surface and the road surface here the road surface makes some angle with the horizontal that is called as angle of banking here the outer edge is raised above the inner edge by some small distance and so that the road surface become tilted it makes some angle with the horizontal here at the point that angle is called as angle of banking and when the outer edge of the road is raised above the inner edge so that the road surface makes some angle with the horizontal that is called as banking of road so why this banking of road is necessary here what is the change here i am going to explain this with the help of car now again the car is your object vehicle that is moving along a bank road when the car is moving along the bank road we consider again the forces acting on the car here there is the frictional force present between the tires and roads but we neglect it also we neglect another non conservative forces like air resistance here we consider only the normal reaction force acting on the car now see here when the car is exactly on the horizontal plane road the normal reaction force is perpendicular to its surface but when the car is moving on this bank road what happen about the normal reaction force here when the car come here on the bank road the surface of the car is also tilted so that the normal reaction force is not exactly perpendicular but it also tilt by some angle and now the weight of the car acting vertically downward normal reaction is not exactly opposite to that force that is weight here the normal reaction is in this direction so to balance the weight of the car we have to resolve this normal reaction force into two components here this is the vertical component blue plane represent here the vertical component of the normal reaction at the same time here there is the horizontal component that is represented by the black pen here the angle between this pencil and blue pen that is same as that of the angle of banking according to the geometry so this is angle theta here so this blue pen represent the vertical component n cos theta pencil represent the normal reaction force n and the black pen represent the horizontal component n sin theta listen here this n sin theta is directed along the radius towards the center the n cos theta is, that is the blue pen is exactly opposite to the weight of the car 
so that the weight of the car mg is balanced by the component vertical component n cos theta and the only net resultant force again acting on the car is here that is n sin theta directed along the radius towards the center this n sin theta provides here the centripetal force so by considering these forces we can find again here the expression for maximum velocity with which a vehicle can move along a bank road and also we can find the expression for angle of banking so let us see it so let us find the equations here this diagram shows the vertical section of a vehicle moving along a bank road and here we have to find the maximum velocity optimum velocity and the angle of banking for this vehicle suppose we consider here i have not write the consideration here it will given you to in, in the notes also so here we consider the car or any vehicle of mass m moving along a bank road with some velocity v means we consider v is the velocity of the vehicle m is the mass of the vehicle and r is the radius of the bank road now what are the forces acting on the vehicle as we discuss it while in the object now see here what are the forces acting on the vehicle there are the two main forces acting on the vehicle that is one is the weight mg acting vertically downward and one force is the normal reaction force there are only two forces we consider here the normal reaction force and the weight mg acting vertically downward the normal reaction force is perpendicular to the road surface and perpendicular to the vehicle but here it is not in the exactly opposite to mg why because the road surface is now tilted the road surface is not plane horizontal the vehicle is also not plane horizontal the vehicle is also tilted that's why the normal to the vehicle and perpendicular to the road surface is also gets tilted by the same angle that is angle of banking theta yes by the geometry we can say here this is angle of banking that is angle made by the plane inclined surface with the horizontal that is called as angle of banking theta here we consider the angle of banking is theta the road is banked by some angle theta so this angle is also theta this is the normal reaction and here listen the, uh, this the frictional force uh, we ignore the frictional force and any another forces like air resistance we consider only two forces again listen here weight mg and the normal reaction yeah in the case of banking of road now this yen can be resolved into two components because we have to balance this weight of the vehicle mg so yen is resolved into two perpendicular component here see here yen is perpendicular yen is here in this direction the yen cos theta that is the vertical component and yen sin theta that is the horizontal component this yen cos theta see there are the two forces acting on the vehicle weight of vehicle mg normal reaction yen yen is resolved again into two components horizontal component yen sin theta in which direction this yen sin theta acting here the horizontal component yen sin theta is directed along the radius towards the center of the circle and the vertical component yen cos theta that is exactly opposite to mg so from this we can write some equations we can say that the yen sin theta provide here the proper centripetal force so we get the equation we will write one equation yen sin theta is equal to centripetal force i can write here yen sin theta is equal to we can say centripetal force now you can tell me the equation for centripetal force as you learn in the earlier video what is the equation for centripetal force here m is the mass of the vehicle v is the velocity with which the vehicle is passing on the road and r is the radius of the road then can you tell me the formula for centripetal force try to recall it it is m v square by r so i can write here m v square by r n sin theta is equal to m v square by r i can write one another equation that is mr omega square but we don't need here 
so I have taken only this equation n sin theta is equal to mv square by r we call this equation as 1 now what is the second equation we can write from the geometry of figure we can say the n cos theta vertical component is balanced by the weight mg so I can write here n cos theta is equal to mg so this is your second equation now divide equation 1 by equation 2 if you write this equation uh, at the second position then you can say 2 by 1 here we divide equation 1 by 2 what we get n sin theta upon n cos theta n will get cancelled and sin theta upon cos theta you will get tan theta in the numerator you can write m v square upon r and in the denominator mg m get cancelled and you get the equation v square upon rg here you get tan theta as first we find the equation for velocity we can write convert this equation as v square is equal to r into g into tan theta now you can say the only equation for v that is the velocity for a vehicle along a bank road the equation is r into g into tan theta this is the equation for velocity with which a vehicle can move along a bank road we cannot call this velocity as the maximum velocity or minimum velocity this is the safe velocity so that in your syllabus the notation given here that is vs vs is equal to under root of rg tan theta we have to find the maximum speed and minimum speed limits that we will discuss in the next video by following the same derivation we can find the equation for angle of banking also from this equation as we know tan theta is equal to v square upon rg we can convert this equation as theta is equal to tan inverse of v square upon rg this is the equation for angle of banking for a bank road when you have given the velocity with which the vehicle is passing along a bank road and you have given the radius of that bank road you can find the angle of banking so in this video i have explained how to find the safe velocity and how to find the angle of banking along a bank road in the next video i am going to explain the speed limits on the bank road thank you